On a hot night in the American Southwest, <laughs> dozens of kids take the field. Their background is kind of the same as mine, that we're, we're the, we are refugees. This is the North Phoenix Christian Soccer Club. It's full of young people whose families fled to the United States in search of a better life. I love it here because you know, I, I got a better chance to get a better education and, and get to play more soccer without worrying about gunshot or things. His family came to Arizona after fleeing persecution in Burma. We all come from different countries, we learn from each other. For Zara from Gabon, the American voyage began after losing her dad to illness in 2009. And then my mom was like, yes, we have to come, we have to, come to, to America because there was a lot of opportunity. Still, both Wynn and Zara say the transition to life in the U.S. hasn't been easy. When, when, when I go to school and when I meet new people, like, first place, like, they, they don't really have respect for me. English wasn't my language. For me to talk, to, be, to communicate with people, it was pretty hard. And that's where the soccer club comes into play. We will never decline a kid or tell him he can't play because of the lack of not paying. The club loans kids shoes and pays their registration fees. That comes to about $30,000 a year paid by the club's president and a few outside donors. The club even provides transportation. If we don't pick them up, they don't get here. It's about a two hour pickup and it's something that we want to do and that we do. Without a ride, many of these kids would not be able to participate in an activity they say shapes their lives. The soccer club is very important to me. Like, it, it helped me, it helped me adapt to this, this world. Their time in the club is limited. 18 is the cutoff age for most players. But the values of youth sports, like social skills and teamwork, will likely follow these foreign-born footballers in their new lives as soccer-playing Americans. In Phoenix, Arash Arbasadi, VOA News.